Hey, what's up guys? Jack and Maddie with the Toaster Bros. And you guys know we love looking at the NZXT build gaming PCs. And this one is actually one of the newest ones in the lineup. It is a Ryzen 5800X 3D with a 6900 XT. NZXT was nice enough to sponsor this showcase of this beautiful PC that they have from their NZXT build lineup. If you don't know, NZXT makes gaming PCs. Check the link down below. You can get this PC and many other spec PCs at different prices by, yeah, check the link down below or on their website, NZXT build. But yeah, we're not gonna waste any more time opening this thing up because it has the new Ryzen Pro processor that we want to see paired with a 6900 XT, I think. Let's open this up and find out. Back to using the hunting knife, and um, I'm imagining this is going to be a box inside of a box, so this, this first unboxing part is not going to be very exciting. But what is exciting though, 5800X3D, and you might be wondering what exactly is the difference. Well, you still get the same old 8 cores and 16 threads that you're used to, and you still get a pretty similar 5800X processor, but they have stacked some L3 cache, and so now this thing has, I think it's like 72 megabytes of cache, which is an absolute insane amount on the L3. So yeah, box inside of a box, I called it. It looks like we got a cool little... Yeah, I don't know if this normally comes with it, so don't. I, I, I can't promise anything. Don't count on getting it, but we got tell one. Us that, but yeah. We got one, though. That's Ooh. sleek, bro. Time for me to replace one. <laughs> There's a new one, dude. Pretty nice. I like that. NZXT coming in clutch with that. Like they even had their little logo nice and sewed in but let's go ahead and get this box inside of the box out so we got the h510 flow which is nice um that they're you know using their own case for this but i'm glad that they use the flow for this because i mean this is this is a pretty high powered build and you know by all means the normal h510 would keep this thing cool enough but the flow definitely adds the extra oh god i just hit myself in the eye with the box i'm definitely excited so we got the matte white and black version you can get this case and i think just two Two different colors besides their like limited edition ones that i don't even know if it's nzxt who actually does those it might be like a third party company yeah black and white or black and black they also have a red one too i think it's black and red those are the only colors i'm i'm concerned about or know about but let's go ahead and flip this over this is like the best way to open a pc if you're wondering by the way i wouldn't normally like try to pull it out i would just flip it like this this is a heavy pc so you can definitely tell we're gonna have some pretty high-end hardware in here just based on the weight i can feel 6900 xt oh that's yeah. a bag full of cables right there we got the extra cables for the power supply looks like it looks like just all the manuals uh looks like a to just give us like everything which is always nice we love when companies do that because the worst thing is you know like your a, a pc is like a hobbyist item i'm not a big fan when companies send things that they don't want the user to ever like open or upgrade i feel like that's kind of the point of a computer you know is like this is a good start but eventually you're going to want to upgrade it i like when companies send the actual accessories so that they show hey we trust the user um not like hey we need every last penny so we don't want anybody ever opening our product matt would you be so kind would you be a gent all right can i make this NZXT H510 Flow looking real nice. I'm imagining we're having a lot of packing. I can't on the see inside. anything. <laughs> oh yeah, they, it looks like an airbag went off on the inside because that's basically what this is. These it shoots are out at you. some nice expanding foam. Yeah, and it, it's scary when you break these things. You got to get it in there and get out quick. You got about what, like maybe five, ten seconds before yeah. it completely just expands. But so far everything's looking good. I don't see any scratches. Our foam looks like it really held everything in place. That is a thick graphics card. Yep, I could feel how thick it was. That's, that looks like a three lane. So it's a two lane in terms of actual like width, but that's definitely, that will cover your third lane. And that takes a full, not one, not two, but three eight pins. So, I mean, yeah, we're talking like some serious power out of this 6900 XT. And I don't think I've actually ever seen it's the Azrock. specific one. Yeah, it's an Azrock formula. And yeah, I've never seen the specific card. I really dig like the green on it. Now keep in mind, I don't know exactly how NZXT works, but most pre-built companies, when they say 6900 XT, that's all they're gonna say. They're not gonna say like Azrock formula 6900 XT. So you may get a different one than this, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be a 6900 XT. We can go ahead and peel this guy off. So I think we're gonna have like the nice like RGB I don't think, yeah, this one's not the LCD display because as you can see, there's like a static NZXT logo. I'm gonna go ahead and do this to make it look a little cleaner, but it is man, a 280 mil because it fills that. Oh yeah, whoever built this just did an amazing job. So props to uh, the person in NZXT that did this. So it looks like I see a Western Digital Blue SN uh, 570. So I think that is a Gen 4 SSD. I'll probably need to verify, but one terabyte. We might have like a hard drive and stuff too. Now, of course, they did an amazing job in the front, but you know, we, we're, we're, we're doing a, a somewhat review here. So we got to look at the back. But so far, NZXT hasn't really um, disappointed us. And they, they do an amazing job with their instructions and like their, their packing stuff normally. So it definitely is following that typical trend. And my goodness, that is... This is, you know, there's, That's there's some people who think cable management's not that important, but um, I mean, hey, NZXT is one of the, one of the bigger people companies out there and they clearly take some pride in it. So 
we ain't the only ones. Definitely glad to see some other companies doing an amazing job at just all of the packaging, double boxed. And on top of that, we have lots of padding. They did the, the beautiful expanding from the inside and look how the computer showed up. I, I mean, also realized they used their B550 board. Did they? Oh, their own, yeah, their yep. own NZXT board, which uh, the last few we've had, they didn't use their own because I, I think in all honesty, it's their cheaper. boards are really expensive uh, and not because they're you know overpriced, but they're just, they have a lot of fancy stuff on them. I mean, custom colors, they usually have all this fancy metal covering a lot of the PCB and everything. So you kind of get what you pay for. I think, well, we don't have any more. We did have like a B550 box. box up there for the longest time because it was just one of the cleanest looking boxes and builds we've gotten. But man, if my cable gets snagged on here one more time, this is why our lives keep breaking. Yeah, overall though, oh, and the power supply, I would like to point that out. I'm surprised they didn't use an NZXT one. Yeah, um, I don't know why they don't do that. There, there's some goofy goobers, but yeah, we got an EVGA. 750GQ, just as good, honestly. I mean, 80 plus gold. And look how big this unit is. And I think that these ones, yeah, semi-modular. Uh, pretty high up there in the tier list, to my knowledge. But I mean, yeah, this just like, what is there not to love about this? I'm excited to, we actually recently did a video where we test out the 5800X 3D, which will probably be live before this one. And that was paired with a 6700? Yes, so we're actually going really high end. Going really high end with it. And I'm, I'm curious to see how much better FPS we get because what I was seeing is, I honestly thought the 5800X 3D wouldn't be that great uh, because you know, normally when they get towards the end of the product launch, they release some products that are like slightly better. But to my surprise, it actually performed close to like the i7 12700K, which I thought was kind of hard to beat right now. But AMD has actually made something to pair pretty closely with it. So how does it go with the 6900 XT? Well, you want to power it on first? I want to see what it looks like. He's like, I don't want to do that. He wants to build up the suspense. I got to build up the suspense. That, that was the, the intro. We haven't done hooks lately, you know? That's true, that's a hook. It works. And now does this one, I guess... I guess they didn't do RGB up no, front? No, there is, there is. Those are RGB fans, so let's give it a second. It might need to... We might need to actually get into Windows because it probably uses NZXT cam software. And if the RGB doesn't work, then that could be a note for NZXT. NZXT, what are you doing? But, uh, no, yeah, it is, it is weird that we already have our RAM working. We have the NZXT logo working, but we don't have RGB on the fans yet. And I can see the fans are going to... Where are they going to? Where the heck is the hub at? Oh, maybe they're... Maybe I'm dumb they're not RGB. No, that's gray. Is it gray? Yeah, you know what? We just, that's, I, I don't know if this is a new thing for NZXT, but so normally their ARGB fans have this, uh, like it's like a white, uh, yeah, we might have some yeah, actually. Have yeah, so there's there's your comparison. I made the mistake, you know, I, I NZXT, I shouldn't doubt you guys, but this is an RGB fan that uses their cam software. This is not. It definitely looked like it with cover on, but once Matt removed that, he showed me I was dumb. So let's go yeah. ahead and load some games up and see how she performs. All right, guys, we're starting off this beautiful benchmark with Apex Legends. We took off the frame cap, but I think, is it 300 technically? It is 300, but 300. we're pretty much maxed yeah. out. So maxed out, 1080p, ready to go. Got max FOB up, let's freaking do this. X3D is at 31% usage supposedly, which is kind of crazy. The 600 XT is doing all the work right now. Oh, okay, all right. You're making them look stupid. Oh, this is an easy, easy dub. Oh no! Come on, punch! Quit running for me! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, nothing is the move right now for me. What? Hello? Oh, there you go. Calister, if he clutches this. Teammate, you chill! To, you have to dress up like a rat. Oh, I forgot I can tap. That's why he's pinging. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Woo! Did it. He held strong. I told me Calistria has to dress up like a rat if you clutch that. What does he have to do? Dress up like a rat. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Photoshop. Some Photoshop. Rat stuff. All right, Apex. I mean, it's gonna run great. Let's try another game. All right, Let's guys. See. We're in Fortnite. I mean, what else is there to say? Fortnite. We are on DX12 mode, which you know runs a little bit better. But Fortnite right now, kind of weird. But the FPS numbers looking pretty solid right now. Normally dropping in. The last few times we tested higher end systems, it like really, really lags. We're getting some stutters though. So. Let's go ahead and land and see what kind of performance numbers we get. Here's someone breaking something right now, so I know. Oh, there's a lot of gunshots going on. Someone has a Star Wars blaster and only have five bullets. Look at that, oh God. <laughs> oh, what is going on? Yeah, two, two bullets, oh, okay, you got it, you got it, you got it. All right, we're good, we're golden. This is Star Wars! Oh no! Oh, that person's a shot. Die, little fish. <laughs> okay, Fortnite, man. That's the. I, I hear more blasters. This is a real sweaty person. Oh, you didn't have to deal with Oh, feathers. Oh, feathers. This dog's having such a fun time. Someone in my periphery. That's what I was trying to do, but I saw this guy. Oh, he's sweaty, sweaty. 
Oh! Fortnite, you've never seen a menace like me. Spider-Man! <laughs> oh god. I'm so sorry. Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh, I was looking too low. Peek again. I'm getting shot at two spot. Well, if I got to 18, that's the longest I've played Fortnite in a while, but look at that, that helicopter is nutty. I don't know what's up with that. Let's go to the next one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we're playing Halo Infinite, and uh, yeah, we're unlocked on ultra settings, so let's see how this goes. <gasps> <Cap> Heretic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> how do I punch? No! Oh, no! Oh, not a punch. Yeah, we're looking pretty good though. Uh, 144 FPS, give or take. If you have a higher refresh rate monitor, you get pretty close to being able to play ultra settings on Halo Infinite, which is a really hard to run game. Heretic. Return that flag. Look at me, I know how to punch now, bitch. <laughs> I got to meet Kebab Maker. Oh, I just oh. got scored. He tried. Six minutes left. I, I just want to. I want to win this. You know. You gotta win. Get the dub. I gotta be on the winning streak. Oh, you won. Oh, Easy dub. Look at that. But yeah, Halo Infinite more than playable. We're gonna run one more game, of course, to stress this thing to its absolute limits, and that is Cyberpunk. All right, guys. The last game we're gonna be testing is Cyberpunk, running the built-in benchmark on ultra settings and. Uh, yeah, 1080p, looking at that, 100 plus FPS. I mean, a 3090, realistically, you can get 60 FPS at 4K if you want to. So yeah, we're pretty much underutilizing this system overall, but if you're looking for like high refresh rate and uh, things like that, and just get the most FPS possible, then 1080p is still a good resolution to go with, or 1440p. So gonna let this benchmark run and see what we end up with. All right, guys, we end up with an average of 147 FPS. Overall, this system is awesome. I mean, it's using the 5800X 3D and a 6900 XT. This system does show that that 5800X 3D is one of the top line CPUs, especially for AMD, obviously, uh, for gaming and wherever you want to throw at it. So highly recommend you consider this PC. Let's wrap this video up real quick. All right, everyone. So we just got done benchmarking this PC and you kind of probably guessed what it was going to do. I mean, it's a 6900 XT and one of the best Ryzen CPUs out right now. So of course, we're able to play every game at ultra settings. You can even do a lot of 4K gaming, eye racing, some flight simulator, really anything you could want to do, this PC will do it. So big thanks again to NTXT Bill for sponsoring this showcase of their beautiful 5800X 3D PC. Definitely check that link down below if you're interested in picking up a pre-built from them. And uh, yeah, this PC turned out really good. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros and do not forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one goodbye if you guys can't get enough of the toasty bros or many of our other teams check out our social medias we got Instagram Twitter TikTok, maybe snapchat maybe <laughs> some other ones I don't even know about but yeah links in the description down below so if you're feeling sad check out our snapchat but all our social medias in the description down below and uh, follow it and definitely join our discord TikTok. yeah Peace. see you guys later goodbye <laughs>